Sunny Florida. Balmy blue skies, golden sand, crystal clear water. Now I ask you, what could possibly go wrong? It's warm. What is wrong here? We spend billions on science every year. We can put a man on the moon, but we can't solve one of mankind's fundamental problems. Getting a cold beer on the beach. I've got to do something about this. As luck would have it, the science world has already been hard at work on the problem. I think I've found the solution. Believe it or not, in this industrial estate just out of Tampa, Florida, scientists have invented the self-chilling beer can. The Institute for Advanced Beerology. Dr. Saban. Dr. Cullen Saban has been working on his beer miracle for 20 years. And what he's come up with is one small step for beer, but one giant leap for mankind. And you rotate the bottom of this, uh, grip the top, yeah. rotate the bottom 180 degrees, and, then, and in four minutes you will have a cold beer. Sounds wonderful. No chemical reaction or nasty gases are used to chill the beer. Why don't you um, do one for me too? It's true. That wouldn't be fair if only I had one. And, All right. So the top, bottom. Oh, gee, it's pretty simple. Think you can get by with one? Yeah, there's three. Two of us, that's not fair. No, goodness. We better do one Whose more. Idea just, was one, that? just one. Just one. Right, right, oh, right exactly. Yes. One more. While our scientific experiment chills, it's time to get inside this four minute fridge and see how it actually works. The refrigerator consists of three components. Uh, heat absorber, which we call the evaporator because a vapor is formed inside of it. And it sucks heat out of the beer. The evaporator surrounds the beer in the top of the can. It contains a watery gel. Twisting the can releases the vacuum stored in the bottom of it, sucking water vapor and heat from the gel to the base of the can. The vapor then flows down into the lower section where it is absorbed in a material uh, which absorbs water vapor. Desiccant granules, much like the sachets in your camera bag, absorb water vapor and heat from the beer, dropping its temperature by 17 degrees Celsius in just a few minutes. This is the fastest way to cool a beer that there is, other than pouring the beer directly over ice, and no beer drinker would ever do that because it dilutes the beer. Oh, yeah, they're starting to cool down. Yes, You can yes. actually see the, uh, the frost on the outside starting to build up. Yes, you can. A beverage company is currently Cheers. testing the cans for mass production. <laughs> that is cold. That is amazing. Mm. That is amazing. It is. It's absolutely yeah, amazing. You've solved it. That's it. So now for the $64,000 question. How will all that beer science hit my hip pocket? A uh, manufacturer has quoted prices to customers and they are not turned off by this. Yeah. Must admit, uh, I'd pay a bit for a cold beer on a beach. Oh! The extra cost is expected to be similar to the premium you'd pay for a cold can of drink from a vending machine. And really, there are some things you just can't put a price on. Or okay. test enough. Cheers. Cheers.